Alright guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can very quickly catch up on gear for tier 5 raiding in TBC Classic. So this video is really aimed at people who are returning to the game or they've totally re-rolled their class or they want to gear up an alt for raids, anything like that. By the way guys, just before we jump in, YouTube's decided to do this great thing where they've basically just started deleting all of my subscribers so um, we're, we're to the point where I'm just losing 100 subscribers a day for some reason so please double check um, if you are subscribed to the channel and smash the subscribe button that's how it really does help out but anyway let's swiftly move on. Now guys I think that one of the best ways to catch up on gear is to take advantage of how easy it's going to be to get last season's PvP gear when you know the new patch drops. I know PvP gear isn't best in slot for raiding, but it's definitely better than some of the gear that you're going to get from dungeons, particularly as a lot of the gear has set bonuses and gem slots which you can take advantage of. So when season 2 drops, what essentially happens is season 1 gear should have a cost reduction and the amount of arena rating that you need to get that gear will actually be totally removed. And you really don't need to be good at arena to farm the points because all you have to do is do t basically 10 games a week. The more arena you have over 1500 rating means you will gain more points per week. So by all means, if you have the skill, you know, do some arenas, just do some 2v2s of a friend, try and get as much arena points as you can so that, you know, you can buy more pieces faster. But the amount of arena points that you get per week will actually increase as well. So when season 2 drops what I'd recommend for you to do is just always do 10 arena games every single week. You don't even need to do 10 wins, you just need to play 10 games and start accumulating those arena points every week and then start buying the arena pieces. I mean you can save up for a really really good weapon, the PvP weapons, which is going to be pretty close to what's best in slot that you can get from raids in tier 4. Apart from this, the actual blue gear that you get from just farming honour and marks of honour can actually be bought as well for a reduced cost. So the amount of honour and the amount of marks you're going to need is going to be reduced when season 2 drops. And obviously what you can do now is farm the honour and farm the points. So you can actually farm the gear right now. Now I can't tell you how much it's going to be reduced because for some reason on the PTR they haven't reduced it. So we don't know how you know much how little it's gonna cost and everything like that. But the costs should all be reduced because that's how it was in the original TBC. Another thing you can take advantage of is the reputation PvP gear, which is very, very easy to obtain. So what essentially happened is they added PvP gear that's pretty equal, if not the same, to what the current blue on a gear is now to the reputation vendors and you can very simply just buy it for gold and you only had to be honored so most people already automatically get to honored with pretty much every single reputation just by leveling up so all you had to do is go to the rep vendor and buy some really good gear with your gold and this gear is fairly equal to the kind of gear that you will get from dungeons and you can just obviously gain it instantaneously. It also has set bonuses and then sometimes the gloves have a little extra bonus effect that will provide some kind of advantageous DPS boost. For instance, the Paladin Gloves, the Crusader Scaled Gauntlets will increase your holy damage bonus of Judgment of a Crusader by an extra 20. The Hunter one will increase your multi-shot damage by 5%. The next best thing I can recommend is to just very simply farm gold. You can buy a lot of really good gear pieces on the auction house and because TPC Classic is like more populated because the servers are bigger and if you are on a high populated server, a lot of these items they're dropping very frequently like for instance the Robe or the Crimson Order which is selling very cheaply on the auction house and that is a pre-read best in slot You can piece. also pick up really cheap crafted gear like Rage Steel and Imbued Neverweave which isn't too bad either. And if you really want to maximise your efficiency what you can do is farm gold while also simultaneously farming reputation. There's a new reputation coming out in phase 2 called the Ogrilla and if you farm enough reputation with them, which doesn't take too long by the way because it's just more of a catch up reputation, you can eventually get some really good epic There's pieces. a powerful crossbow, some braces for leather wearers with a gem socket and you've also got the Vortex walking boots with two gem sockets on the boots, so that's all very nice. Apart from doing all this, what I definitely recommend to do is obviously do your Karazhan attunement if you haven't already done it because on the way, when you're doing your Karazhan attunement, you will pick up 
quests for the particular dungeon that you have to do for the achievement and normally it will actually provide a pre-read best in slot piece. I do have a video dedicated to um, you know, how to gear up very quickly by doing stuff like that and I'll link that in the description below but basically try and pick up as many dungeon quests as humanly possible because the great thing about dungeon quests is you know you do the dungeon you pick up an item or you kill a boss and there you go you've got absolutely guaranteed loot you're not waiting around farming a boss for RNG or anything like that. Another thing that you can do is do group quests. There's plenty of group quests in the higher level zones like Neverstorm and Shadowmoon Valley that provide ridiculously good gear pieces like the Terran Gorfin questline. I've talked about that a lot on the channel. And what you probably want to do also is your Tempest Keep achievement. I'll link the starting quest for that in the, in the description box below as well because eventually at the end of the Tempest Keep achievement you do actually pick up a few good gear pieces on the way as well and obviously you want to get your Tempest Keep achievement sorted out. You also definitely want to get your reputation to re revered for the Scenarian Expedition because that will unlock a particular quest that unlocks the achievement for SSC so that's probably going to be your main priority as, as you know while you're also getting gear is to get revered with those reputations and to do your Tempest Keep achievement. And then, apart from that guys, you know, the obvious other thing is do Karazhan as much as humanly possible and the other raids, like the 25 man raids, you know, join pugs, um, join a guild. And, you know, if you're joining a guild that's already been raiding and pretty much got other raids on farm, then um, obviously they won't need the gear, which means you probably get more gear shifted to you. There's a lot of gear in Karazam, which isn't best in slot and it's more of a side grade which you probably just get dumped on you if you are running into Karazam with not a lot of gear and obviously try and get into groups where there obviously isn't much gear competition like sometimes you know say for, you know you got start of the week and you're thinking about getting a Karazam pug going sometimes you know it's best to be patient rather than just joining the first group that you can it's sometimes more worthwhile to just be a little bit patient and wait a bit longer in the week for a group that has less gear competition for you but anyway guys those are all of my tips to gear up very quickly in preparation for tier 5 my name is a goblin to the next video ciao